Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2014 NFL Draft Team Needs Analysis, and this video is for the Cincinnati Bengals, who were winners of the AFC North this year with a record of 11-5. and For the third straight year, they lose in the wild card round of the playoffs this year to the Chargers at home after going 8-0 in the regular season at home. But looking into the offseason now for the Bengals, uh, this is a roster that's very talented. I mean, when you make the playoffs three years in a row, I know they lost all three games, but that has to be indicative of the consistency on the roster and also the level of talent. I think it is. And you, know, you saw them last year focus more on the offensive side of the ball in the early rounds of the draft with Tyler Eifert in the first round, with Giovanni Bernard in the second round. I think they focus more on the defensive side of the ball this year in the early rounds. And when you look at you know their linebacking core and their secondary. They certainly have adequate players at every position. I think they can stand, though, to get another playmaker at either outside linebacker, cornerback, or safety. Uh, so if I'm them, I take a look at my board, and the best outside linebacker, safety, or corner I have on my board at the time I pick is the guy I'm taking. Um, I think at the outside linebacker spot, you obviously have Malaga inside, Perfect on one of the as one of the outside backers. If you can get another young guy to go opposite them, to sort of be waiting in the wings here because you know James Harrison isn't going to play forever. Maybe get some time to learn under those guys. I think that can be valuable. Can you get another playmaking safety um, to play opposite Reggie Nelson? Uh, can you also get some depth at the cornerback spot? You're getting a lot out of guys like Adam Jones now. Leon Hall obviously coming off an injury. Is that a place maybe? Uh, where you know you develop some depth as well at the cornerback spot because in this day and age in the NFL, I don't really feel that you can, you know, have too much depth, especially at that cornerback spot when a lot of these teams, the standard sets that they do play involve three wide receivers. So again, you know, I, I don't think you know when you look at areas of need, you know, that's a pretty general term. Uh, could they get away with not drafting a cornerback? Yeah. Could they get away with not drafting a safety? Probably. Um, but, you know, I think it would be in their best interest to try to fill one of those three positions, outside linebacker, corner, or safety, with a playmaker. And then from there on for these guys, for the Bengals, it's all about, to me, building depth uh, on the offensive line, maybe on the defensive line if they see a need there. Uh, again, at cornerback, maybe at linebacker and safety. Build that depth so as the roster turnover happens, which inevitably happens in the NFL, you have a guy hopefully ready to step in in his development cycle here as a professional player. I think that's the stage the Bengals are at right now. I know there's been a lot of speculation and a lot of criticisms of Andy Dalton, but look, this is a guy that's still on his rookie contract. He was a second-round pick. He, he has made the playoffs now three years in a row as a starting quarterback, which I know Bengals fans don't want to hear that because they've lost three straight playoff games, but there's not many guys like that walking around that have made the playoffs the first three years of their NFL career, and I know he has a lot of weapons around him, and I think that's why we expect more out of him. I think they're obviously going to stick with him for next year as the starting quarterback. Maybe questions start to be raised after that, but they'll stick with Andy Dalton this year, okay, and uh, you know, see if they can take the next step as not only an offense but as a team uh, as a whole and uh, look for them to get play make maybe one or two more playmakers on the defensive side of the ball, but other than that, build some depth through this draft. Guys, let me know what you think, what you think the Bengals are going to do here in the upcoming draft, where you would like to see them go. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm doing a video like this for all 32 NFL teams, also covering the draft, previewing and recapping every game in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.